big of a bomb yeah. would you need to completely oh. destroy the Earth? So full gravitational unbinding. A lot. Far more than every nuclear weapon in the world combined. Well, gravity is holding the Earth tightly together yes. with more energy than the sun puts out in an entire week. That's accurate. Specifically, this is about 2.2 times 10 to the 32nd power joules. And the sun puts out about 3.8 times 10 to the 26 per second. And a nuclear bomb wouldn't even come close oh, to no. ripping that apart. The biggest one ever at 50 megatons was a meager 2 times 10 to the 17 power joules. Or a quadrillion times too small. You would have to build a bomb two miles wide and what? fill half of it with positive particles and the other half with negative particles. Okay, this is pure science fiction. Positive, negative, that's not a meaningful way to store energy. The closest real concept would be a matter-antimatter annihilation reaction. If that was used, this would be immensely energy dense, but nowhere nearly enough to destroy the Earth. Then the impact would collide them against each other, and this would combine their energy. Okay, he's clearly talking about matter antimatter. G, making an explosion big enough to blow. No, not even remotely close. One kilogram of matter antimatter annihilation releases about 10 to the 17th power joules. So you would need roughly the mass of Earth in antimatter to do this. And antimatter costs about a trillion per milligram. The planet into dust. It's just not enough.